Okay, what's up everybody? I had a couple people ask me uh, about what happens when I extend the boom or what, what it means to extend, extend the boom or suck in the boom. And that and the fishing line sound. Okay, the fishing line sound, that's on my main line here. That's this little button called a thumper. And I can feel that the drum is turning when I have my finger on it. So that's all that is. All right, so first we're gonna configure what the crane is set up for. I'll get down here close enough so you can see. Okay, so I'm not on this setup right now. So delete. I'm on number two, which is this one. And then I'm on number two up here. And I'm all here. This is the 25 degree offset, so I'm back on number two here. I'm on the main drum. And I'm on outrigger is fully extended. And I have one part aligned. Now I click OK. Gonna show me a little picture of what the crane's configured like. Do I like that? Is that right? OK. Now you can look and see my code is 0042. And that's correct. Alright. So as I start extending the boom out, this number right here is gonna get longer. The tip height's gonna go up. I'll probably keep the, the boom angle the same as I go out, but the radius is also gonna increase. All right. Let's extend the boom. Now this is that foot pedal I have on the floor. Push up on the top. I got a cable down while I'm doing this, otherwise, you can see the ball is slowly going up in the air. If I don't do that, it'll go into that anti tube block up on top and then the functions will stop. sections are going on. everything out now you see down here what it looks like 100, 110.1 feet of main the tip height is 152 and my radius is 82.6 feet and with the two stages of swingway Uh, and and at this radius the only thing that this crane will be able to handle is about 4,400 pounds right here, but as you boom down that number is going to decrease All right, that's it. We'll talk to you all later. Take care